is this? Look, honey, I can explain. The wedding is off. But a trip to Ireland? I could take you on a horseback tour of our beautiful land. Wow! <laughs> May just change her life. You've opened my eyes to a few things. That's yeah, very beautiful, isn't it? I bet you sweet talk all the ladies like this. Nicolette Sheridan. Honeymoon for One starts right now on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Is this yeah. an instance of listening to Let me see. Um, tomorrow I have a conference call with Tanaka at five. What? I should be done by six. Then why don't we finally do that cake tasting at eight? I thought you were flying back to New York this afternoon. Dubai guys are still in town. Having dinner with him tonight, so I figured I'd just stay through the weekend. You do know the wedding cake was picked out six months ago. And I'm guessing I missed the food tasting, too. I'm sure we could arrange another. Today. Love you. Me too. Oh, I'm sending over these papers for you to look at this afternoon. Sounds good. Morning. Morning. So, um, Tanaka called and the team are flying in from Japan a week earlier than we thought. Oh, well, whose mistake was that? Oh, looks like I'm going to have a working honeymoon. Like it wouldn't be anyway. So, um, Tanaka still wants to talk about the direction of the pitch, something about adding a tiger. And maybe that was tire. Note to self, hire a competent assistant. Oh, and uh, Tanaka wants to talk at seven instead of five. Fine. Thanks for the uh, non-fat latte. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, food tasting at Shutters tomorrow night. I could, but I swear that my invitation that got lost in the mail said you were getting married next weekend. Okay, invitation, invitation. <laughs> You're actually getting married next Saturday. So exciting. Yeah, who'd have thunk and you engaged just these five short years? You know how busy we are. We just haven't had a window to do that whole wedding and honeymoon thing. But now our schedules have a line. So you excited for Tahiti? Well, actually, we're not going to Tahiti anymore. We're going to Ireland. Oh, and you don't happen to be staying at one of Greg's new five-star castle resorts. Right. His company acquired this a couple of months ago, and he's building a golf course, and he's never even been there. So I figured, you know, kill two birds with one stone. That's our Eve, efficient until the end. Speaking of Prince Charming. Well, I was supposed to see him tomorrow, but I guess I'm seeing him tonight. Oh, La Marcienne. Fancy. When did Greg start calling you babe? Never heard Greg call you that before. I'm expecting some important documents from Greg's office today. They came in while you were at lunch. I put them on your desk. Thank you. I didn't know you owned part of Greg's company. And I see you read them. I am a silent partner. And why are you selling it to him for a dollar? Because he has a big investor on the line, and the only way to hook him is to give him a stake in the company. And it's easier to give him mine than his. Okay. Is that all? to relaunch your company. Be right back. You have nothing to worry about. You're in good hands. Hi. Hi. There he is. Thank you. Tomo. Tomo. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm no problem. Oh. Oh, Tanaka wouldn't stop talking. He is being so persistent about that darn tiger. <laughs> tiger. So 
So, getting that text was a nice surprise. <laughs> you and me both. <laughs> a double scotch on the rocks, please. But when I saw the word babe, I thought it was for somebody else. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I got the papers. Great, great. Great. Whose class is this? Uh, one of the Dubai guys. He's, he's gone. Look, honey, I can explain. She's, um, she... Is this why you wanted me to sign the papers before we got married? No, no. I worked two jobs to put you through business school, and I sat back while you basked in all the glory. I wanted it that For way. you! Nothing to me, I swear. You know, you. Oh, honey, come on, stink. please. Stink. Eve. Eve. I think you're gonna buy me for a couple of bucks. Think again. Today at 12.34 p.m. Eve, we need to talk. Message to... Look, I'm a jerk, I know it, but we need to talk about your stake in the company. <sighs> Message three. I'm sorry. If I don't make this deal with the Dubai guys, the company will be worth nothing. Good. Stretch up and back. Where's Eve? She's never late. Hold your tushes in the air and breathe in. Hold it. Feel the stretch. Hey, how's the Marcian? Didn't live up to the hype. And to the side. The text message wasn't for me. What do you mean? Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. What happened? He was cheating on her. Can we exhale now? And down. Greg was cheating on you? Um, class is missed. You okay? I failed. Well, uh, at least you find out about Greg now instead of later. God, I bet you can't get your deposits back this late in the game, huh? Nope. The airline ticket to Ireland is non refundable. You should totally still go. No, there's nothing wrong with having a vacation by yourself. Well, there is when that vacation is supposed to be your honeymoon. Eve, you invested 10 years of your life with someone. You know, spend a little time with yourself. It'd be a good idea. You know, as your friend and your sometimes therapist, I... You should still go. That'll show him. <sighs> oh. Oh, uh, Greg called. Again. And again. Tell him I went to Japan. And under no circumstance are you to tell him where I really went. Now, I need you to uh, courier all of the Tanaka material to Ireland. I thought this was supposed to be a vacation. It's a working vacation. And the strategy meeting is still on for Monday. It's just going to be on the phone.
No, don't worry, William. I'll tell him, don't worry. Oh! I'm so sorry, Mom. Forget about it. Here. Let me help you with those. I got him. No, 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 sure. Beautiful lady such as yourself shouldn't have to carry your own bags now. I said I've got him. What are you doing? It's called chivalry. Hey! I'm not tipping you. with Lady Mock. Reservation for Parker. Of course. I'm sorry, ma'am, you don't seem to be in the system. Try Young. Mrs. Young, it's a pleasure to have you and your husband staying with us here this week. Thank you. Now, we've got you in the honeymoon suite. You and your husband are going to love it. It has a romantic view of the countryside, perfect for couples wishing to see one of our famous sunsets. Just give me the key. Of course. Uh, which way? It's at the top of the stairs, you can't miss it. Excuse me. Castle Line Hotel, William speaking, how can I help? Hello? Yes, that's great. Right. Tell staff in honor of your recent nuptials. Thank you, hotel staff. I do deserve to spoil myself. Drawing. The Duke X. 
Over there. I'm watching the nest while the mother went off for a quick bite. <sighs> um, do you mind if I join you for a minute? I have a broken heel and possibly a broken ankle. Sure. <sighs> oh. Oh. Now, actually, it's quite beautiful here. I guess. You guess? I live here. I see it every day. Oh. So why aren't you uh, in school? You don't have kids, do you? And why would you say something like that? It's summer. Oh. Do you have parents? A father. I'm going to be featured in the art show tomorrow. Ooh, well, that's great. It starts at two, at the arts around the village. You can't miss it. So when do you think the eggs are going to hatch? She just laid them a few days ago, so not for another few weeks, I suppose. See, we've made a new friend. <laughs> Hi. I'm really sorry about yesterday. I was having a really bad day. Today again, too, it seems. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot my hiking shoes. Well, let's start again, then shall we? I'm Sean Hughes. You've already met my daughter. Whose name I didn't catch? Kathleen. Kathleen. Hi, I'm Eve. Eve Parker. So where are you coming in from, Eve? Los Angeles. Yeah, it's great to be here. You know, back to nature. So you like to camp out and all that stuff? Oh! Oh! You know, I was about to pretend that I did, but uh, the closest I come to nature is the Wilshire Country Club. When they build a new golf course here, I should probably come back. Put it. Oh, I don't know, probably somewhere between the roller coaster and the water slides. I see you're not a big fan of the resort building a golf course. No, ma'am, no. Oh, well, I hear that it's going to give a big boost to the local economy. Did you also hear it cut through most of these forests that our wildlife depends on? Oh, you're one of those. Afraid so. Well, I heard it'll be good for tourism. It's just what we need, isn't it? More tourists snapping their little pictures and mucking up the land. Now, I can't help but feel that somehow that's directed at me. The high heel fits. You know, just because you're Mr. Manly Man that kills your own dinner with a bow and arrow doesn't give you the right to judge me, or any other tourist for that matter. And you can... have a nice day. Good luck at the art show tomorrow! Good afternoon again, Mrs. Young. I am not Mrs. Young. We never got married. Your wonderful boss cheated on me. So you can stop with all of this, this coupley stuff, okay? My name is Eve Parker, and I wasn't going to change my name anyway. Got it? Yes, Mrs. Uh, uh, Ma'am. Why do I only have one new graphic? Uh, that's all we've got. Why? Uh, Jason quit. Got another job offer. I've been gone for two days. Whatever. Uh, on my desktop, I have a list of graphic artists. Actually, Joe Evans is working on it now. Joe couldn't draw his way out of a paper bag. Uh, Eve? Joe's sick thing in now. Okay, get me something by morning. Wait, your morning or our morning? Mine, and get that video conferencing working by then, too. That way I can seal his faces from making work.
did. Is your father here? No. Good. So which one's yours? You drew all those? Aren't they lovely? Yes. Sorry, um, I'm Margie Donnelly. Kathleen's art teacher. Oh, hi. <laughs> Eve. Hi. Well, now, Kathy's the only one of the lot who can actually draw. <laughs> yes, they are very professional. Really? Mm. I'd hire you. How much pain? <laughs> Excuse me. Miss Parker. Hello. I thought you said he wasn't here. He wasn't. He was out there, getting veggies. Before you lay into me again, I just want to apologize for yesterday. Sometimes I go a little overboard. Well, I guess I went a little overboard too. Let's just call us both very passionate people. Well, that's better than what the locals call me. What's that? Equus the center. Hey, that's enough. Here. Please, McCarran. You're uh, some kind of horse trainer? Uh, no. Actually, I was told yesterday I'm in one of the larger trades here in Ireland. Professional golfer? Tourism. I'm the estate manager at Castle Wild Resort. That's an interesting choice of trade, due to your fondness for tourists. Yeah, well, you know, the trade actually picked me. I was meant to be fifth generation head gamekeeper at Castle Wild and Lord Gallagher sold to the developers, so I kind of stayed on in a similar capacity. Um, some points of interest that I should know about? You should take advantage of our many attractions. We have wine and whiskey tasting, we have cookery demonstrations, we have historical walks. Or I could take you on a horseback tour of our beautiful land. Free of charge, of course. <laughs> That's a nice gesture, but I'm sure you've figured out that I'm not really the horse riding type. <laughs> sure, if I can make cowboys out of a bunch of businessmen from Belgium, I can make a cowgirl out of an L.A. lady, so she's yourself, Miss Brown. It's E. And I'll think about it. No, you should. It'll help you loosen up. What's that supposed to mean? We just seem a bit uptight. Did you just call me uptight? No, I'm just... saying it looks like you've got a lot on your mind. That ain't much better. Just because I'm a tourist, that does not mean I am uptight. And I don't think like again. you telling me that I need to relax. I know when I need to relax and how I need to relax. And taking whiskey shots and riding horses is not my idea of relaxation. So if you'll excuse me, I am going to relax across the street in that boutique. I can't believe I let you talk me into this. Have you at least seen the sights? <laughs> have I seen the sights? And what else have you done? Um, worked, shopped. A little. Eve, you could be doing that in LA. Do something different. Yeah, but doing normal stuff keeps me from getting depressed. And how's that working out for you? <laughs> Eve, breaking up is really tough. You know, especially when you've been together as long as you were with Craig. But it's gonna get better. You have to have faith. I know. And you have to change your routine. Look, I looked up Castle Wyatt online, and there is some really fun stuff there. There's archery, cooking demonstrations. Why does everybody think I want to learn how to cook? Who's everyone? Nobody. Eve? Oh, just this guy, this, this gameskeeper or something. He called me uptight. Can you believe that? Hello? What? You think I'm uptight? Yeah, but uh, in an endearing way. Yeah, I am so not uptight. And even if I was, what gives him the right to tell me that I need to relax? You really got under your skin, huh? No. Is he hot? Okay, I've got to go. This is an absolute disaster. Can we just get Eve to sell her stick? Maybe, but not in a week. The Dubai guys want their answer by Friday, or the offer is off the table. There's got to be a way to make the deal work without her share. There is. If you give up your share. That's gonna happen. You're not serious. That's a heart attack. I started this company. I, I brought you in. I even got us this deal. But you haven't closed. And without a share equal to Eve's, we won't close. If we don't get this infusion of capital, you can kiss your share, mine, and the whole company goodbye. 
We'll get her to sell. He's gonna find her first. So you've got your proving it boots on. I sure do. Which I will be using another day. Always room for one more. Oh, um. One, two, three. And up. Oh. Now, sit up. Sit up. I... Feet oh. in the stirrups. I... Grab the reins. It's really very simple. Give him a squeeze with your legs, and he'll start moving on. Okay. If you want him to slow down, just pull on one of the reins. That's it? That's it. Well, how do I steer? No, he'll just go with the flow. And what if he doesn't go with the flow? Then you will just have to go with the flow. Be back in a minute. Right. Everybody ready? Uh... Called a fairy fort. Nothing you'd be interested in, though. Why do you say that? Well, you're obviously not concerned about our land or its history. That is not true. Well, just because I knew about the golf course and you had your little rent. Well, during the Iron Age, people who inhabited Ireland built thousands of these forts. Most of them are still here. As legend has it, they were entrances to the fairy world. So, out of respect, we don't mess with them. Ah, oh, out of respect. Sounds superstitious to me. Uh, well, you know, the Irish are a superstitious lot. And what happens if you mess with them? Cutting the brush off them could smell death for the cutter. Oh, don't tell me. That is why you don't want the golf course built. No. Despite the superstition, they are a part of our history, and it would be nice to preserve them, you know, along with the natural habitat of the creatures of the forest. Fair enough. You for a tour guide. Am I that bad? <laughs> no, not at all. It's just that you're quite serious and uh, don't like tourists much. So then, you know, these tours are a good opportunity for me to educate you tourists about the land that I love. It is kind of nice. I'll take it, kind of. That's what they all say. Oh. This be a famous waterfall. Lots of flicks were shot here. Movies! Looks like we caught up with them. Thank the Lord. Hello again. So, 
This is Castle Wild Waterfall. I tried that one. It's, uh, it's Ireland's highest waterfall. King George IV visited here in 1821. It's also the... It's also a good, uh, good photo. Photo walk. You speak Japanese? Sukoshi. <laughs> okay, so what's next? She's talking about. I was a clue, no. Oh. Come on now, let's get you help. Come on now. Oh. 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 Despite what I said when I fell in the river, I am... Um, I'm quite happy being here in Castle Wild. Yeah, it's very beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And there's so much history. So much I want to preserve for, for Kathleen and for her children. Mm, I don't blame you. She should have all this. No, I, mean, I know she doesn't get all this now, but she will one day. At least for now, she... Humors her old dad. <laughs> I know I seem a little gruff sometimes. It's just I'm not that good at, at expressing my feelings. Well, you're doing a pretty good job right now. <laughs> I bet you sweet talk all the ladies like this. You are the first woman oh, beside the cleaner who's been here in a long time. Father? Eve, what's for supper? Burgers. Do you want to stay? Oh, no, I couldn't. What's stopping you? You can check on the dog eggs today. Still there. Did you know that there are 50 different species of duck that you can find in Ireland? Did you get that in your brochure, too? No. No, I was doing an ad campaign for the Irish Bureau of Tourism, and I had to brush up on me Irish minutia. What was the campaign? Oh, this silly thing with these you know, dancing leprechauns in it. <laughs> I saw that. Dad, do you remember that? I think I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we have some more of my sketches? Of course. Cool. I wish you'd get this excited about our homework. Okay, let's see. I sketched this one last week. It's the rear corner of the castle. That is really great. And this one. It's the inside of the lobby. Oh, yeah. Hey, who's for a game of Monopoly? Dublin edition. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, where is your wife these days? She passed away about five years ago, cancer. Oh, I'm sorry. It was quick. They say we're all fortunate for that. 
So what brings you here? It's, um, my honeymoon. Really? Mm. So, where is your husband? He didn't make it. He, um, didn't even make it to the altar. <laughs> oh. So that's why you're so uptight. <sighs> yeah. Um, it's a boring story. He cheated on me and then tried to trick me into selling my stake of his company, I think. And I had decided to have our honeymoon here because he'd never been here before and he owns the resort. He... he owns what resort? Castle Wild. So, your company is planning to build a golf course on the home of the critically endangered Natajack Toe? I am just a silent partner. No. No, you are the enemy. Well, I had no idea where they were going to build the course. <laughs> Ignorance is no excuse. Hey, you can't blame me for not knowing what a company that I have nothing to do with does. No, I'm... What's going on? Nothing, nothing, sweetheart. Go back to bed. I was just saying goodnight. You were just saying goodnight. And thank you for a lovely evening. Good night, little one. You like her, don't you? Bad. Well, I wondered when you dropped by. I really need to talk to her. Darn, you just missed her. It's important, Mark. Yeah, I know all about it, Tiger. She told you what happened. I'm her assistant. She tells me everything. Mark, I want to apologize to her. Put it on a note. I'll make sure she gets it. Look, she doesn't want to talk to you, man. You broke her heart. It's bad enough she went on the honeymoon without you. She doesn't need you to make things any worse. She's gone to Ireland? <sighs> it's great she tells you everything, Mark. Eve's online now. No. No. Nope. This is terrible. I wouldn't say it's terrible. Well, it's certainly not the style we're looking for. Can't we get Jason back? I don't think so. Sorry I'm late. Where were you? Can I get back to you on that? We need something youthful, playful, fun. This looks like corporate art. We'll have him try again. And someone else, too. I'll grab your lists. Can I call you a taxi, Miss Parker? Yes. Thank you. <sighs> oh, the taxi will be... Huh. That's one fast taxi service. sketches for me. For what? This ad campaign I'm working on. Really? Really. Is this like a professional gig? Well, if it's money you're after, we could talk about it over lunch. And a lemonade. Yep. And a Coca-Cola. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, young lady, are you sure that your father's not going to get upset with you eating a real hamburger? 
But he's just no long person. Besides, <laughs> Paddy sneaks me out to a chase for a burger every Thursday. Oh, he is going to have his hands full with you when you're a teenager. So, why do you want me to do these if you're not even going to use them? Well, I want something with a more polished look. And in time you'll get there, but for now, I just want to work with you and come up with something that's going to be an inspiration for one of my professional artists back in L.A. If they're professionals, why didn't they need me to inspire them? <laughs> I've been wondering the same thing myself. I told you to call. So, when did your dad get into saving the planet? Not the planet, just cast the world. My mom was into it, but he didn't really start until after she died. I think he's paying tribute or something like that. You know, keeping her spirit alive. You have a lot of explaining to do, young lady. You know better than to take off without warning me. You didn't get my message? No voicemail. I texted you. Well, I didn't get it. Did your phone vibrate? Maybe. Once. That usually means that you have a text message. Dad, you've got 16 unread messages. <laughs> I'm not very good with technology. Ah, makes you a little uptight, huh? No wonder you didn't meet me at the briar last week. Well then, I suppose I owe you an apology. You too. I'm sorry about last night. Are those real burgers? That's my fault. I thought that she should try the real thing. You have ruined my kid. I'm sorry? You owe me one. A new kid? A ride. Just you and me. Smooth. Very smooth. Thank you. Don't even practice. You know, if you really wanted to sweep me off my feet, I could think of at least a million other things that we could be doing right now. Oh, but I wanted you to see a side of Ireland that most tourists never see. Oh, is that one of those um, fairy forts? Uh, no, no. Come on, I'll show you. So this here is a dolmen. It was built 4,000 years ago as a burial tomb. We call it Paradise Fort. But they're about to rename it. To what? The Ninth T. You're not serious. They break ground in two weeks. Well, why would they cut into this when they have all of these hills and rolling pastures? I'm sure they want to utilize the natural beauty of the land. You know, with all the folk riding around on the little electric carts, wildlife will just have to make their home somewhere else if they can. I'm sure that Greg has no idea that this is happening. No, he does. I may not be a crazy eco-warrior protested type, but I, I've written him a lot of letters. Yeah, it just doesn't sound like him. I just don't want this to be the legacy for Kathleen and her generation. Well, I'll definitely bring it up if I ever talk to him again. Much appreciated. Now, come on then. Let's get back to sweeping you off damn feet. <laughs> so, fly fishing. Mm. It's all about mimicking a fly when he goes for a drink of water. Flies drink water? They do. And when they drink, they drift. So, when our fly here lands on the water for a sip, he will hopefully drift 
right down into the mouth of the starving trout. Sounds challenging. And relaxing, too. Mm. <laughs> I always thought it was called fly fishing because it looks like you're swatting a fly. I know it looks like we're just waving a big stick about, but that is so we can get the fly in just the right spot. <laughs> what? Uh, this look very tasty in those waders. <laughs> yes, thank you. Couldn't find any in my size. How hard it was for me to get Paddy to lend me them new ones. Oh. <laughs> so now we just reel them in? I've got to catch them first. Here. You have a look. Me? Uh -huh. Hold. That's it. Take the finger off there. Go. Hold with that. Let go there. Oh. Hold okay. with this. Nice straight arm. No wobbly wrists now. Hold it in this hand. Okay. And then. So now you just whip it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. You're going to catch a lot more than Whoops. fish. Here, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Here. Sorry. Little finger. There we go. In there. Well, I'll do the teasing. Are we ready? Yeah. Ready to pass. Let go of that. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Straight arm. Uh. Oh, I think I've got one. Pull the whole okay. finger. Okay. Okay. Ah. All right. All right. All right. There we go. There he is. Gently. Pull with the left. Uh. Pull. All right. Right, my little friend. Oh, it's a big one. What do you think? Oh. Excited? Well, it was until you threw it back. Yeah, you know, I haven't had a rush like that since since I was accidentally given a triple espresso at my local coffee shop. <sighs> I want to do it again. What's this, uh, Tofurky? No, this time I got you the real deal. Oh, but doesn't that go against everything that you believe in? Well, you made me realize that my quest for awareness shouldn't include alienating the people I'm trying to make aware. Hmm. So, this is kind of like a bribe. Yeah, sort of. Well, you've opened my eyes to a few things. Especially the golf course. And I never would have been caught dead going fishing. No, it wasn't that bad, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't bad. You never think of having kids yourself. You're great with Kathleen. Not in the plan. What's the plan? I uh, don't know anymore. Since Greg cheated on me, I guess I need a new plan. How about... Flying by the seat of your pants, Blan. <laughs> I'll never be that person. I mean, my greatest hobby is making lists. Number one, get married. Number two, have a family. So what happened to you? My career. I was so focused on making it that I didn't even have time to think about having kids. And then I met Greg, and time just got away from me. It's not too late. I think I'm too selfish to have kids now. They just wouldn't really fit into my life. But your list's still there. This is getting way too heavy. What are you going to do tomorrow? Work. After that? Nothing planned. How about a date? I thought this was a day. Another one. The proper one. I'd like that. So you remember that guy I was telling you about? The one that called you up tight? Yes. Did you kiss him? No. But you want to. Oh, so badly. And the weird thing is, he is so not my type. Well, those are the best to rebound with. Do you think it's a rebound? Well, are you planning on moving to Ireland? 
No. Well, then it's a rebound. Eve, you have been through such a lot. <sighs> yeah, well, this is the first guy that's been into you. So what should I do? Well, do you want my professional opinion? I prefer the friend opinion. Mm, yeah, they're the same. Rebound, please. <laughs> Thanks. You're the best. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Sean, looking for something special? Yeah, Claire, I'm looking for a flower arrangement type deal. And would this be a I love you type deal? Or a I'm in the doghouse type deal? Do you have a we just met, but I think I like you? up with her that night. Well, I wish you'd come to me and told me that you were unhappy. When did we have the time? I know, and I have thought about that a lot lately. We never made time for one another, but I thought it worked. It did. I wish you'd told me. I couldn't find any flowers I liked, so I got you this. It's a, it's a Celtic mask. The Celts worship horses, so I thought it was appropriate after our day yesterday. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, obviously I don't either. It's been so long since someone... What's, what's going on? Greg, this is Sean. He's the estate manager here at Castle Wild. He gave me some horseback riding lessons yesterday. You went horseback riding? Yeah, uh, she certainly did, yeah. And um, she left behind this mask she bought in town at the stable, so I was just delivering it to her. That's very kind. No. That won't be necessary. Could you just give us a minute? Yeah, sure. I'm sorry. It's fine. He just showed up out of the blue. Sure, you are going to tell him to take a hike so we can go on our date, though. Oh, I want to. I, I really do. Look, look, I even bought new shoes. We have ten years together. We need to talk. I understand. I uh, thank you for, for the mask. Something to help you remember your trip. I at least deck him for the golf course? <laughs> I think I'll um, take the less violent approach and I'll try to talk to him. San Luis Obispo. How could I forget? It was the only vacation we ever took. And you almost got us killed cutting off that 18-wheeler. I wasn't thinking about that part. No, 
Well, being nestled in the woods like this reminded me of when we went to the mineral springs and you got the spa number wrong and... Uh... <sighs> and dropped my towel in front of that old couple. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 you know, I completely forgot about that. I can't believe I let my guard down. First time since Merrin died. Shame again, please. Seemed like you guys could have been good together. What'd you expect, boy? You think she was going to leave her life in America and move here just to be with you? I didn't know what to expect. But look, the good news is that you did open yourself up. And that means you can do it again. Maybe with somebody local this time. Wanna buy me a drink? It was nice talking to you tonight. You know, without one of us having to jet off somewhere. Yeah, it was. Think you could ever forgive me? What are you doing? We're here. Where we're supposed to be as man and wife. So let's just do it. There's a chapel in here somewhere. Let's start our lives together right now. I, I, I don't know what to say. Say yes. Can I think about it? That's all I ask. Come on, dance with me. No, no it's 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 getting late. I should be heading home. I guess I should too. Hey, you're not driving, are you? I'm fine. No, I'd, I'd rather you didn't drive. Uh, Jimmy, the taxi will have knocked off by now, so... Mm. I'll get you a room at the castle. Mm. Thanks, Spender. No, I have connections. <laughs> so where are you staying tonight? Oh, let me check my itinerary. What's that? Oh, nothing. It's, it's nothing. It's just some business stuff. You brought the papers for me to sign to dinner. Let's not spoil our evening with business no, talk. No, let's. Eve, come no, on. No, let's, let's talk about it. If you have a pen, I will sign the papers. Yeah, I, I think I have one here. You really think I'm that stupid? No, no, I just... Goodbye, Greg. Eve. Eve, I'm not leaving until we sort this out. Goodbye. Hey, give me a sweet. I'm sorry, sir, we're fully booked. I don't know if you know who I am, but I own this hotel. Give me a room now. Mr. Young? Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet you. However, I'm afraid there really are no vacancies, being the high season at all. Leaving, William. We got a room for the young lady here. Good luck, buddy. Afraid not, Sean. We're booked solid. <laughs> Thanks, anyway. Come on, darling. Making a banner to put up outside the castle so that people know exactly what kind of company this is. Could I give you some advice? Can I stop you? I'm in the advertising business and I probably shouldn't say this, but the best kind of advertising is the free kind. Okay. Now you've got my attention. You need to grab the eye of the media immediately, even if that means calling them yourself. You do realize that I'm planning to protest against Greg's company? Yep. So, didn't go that well last night. That's why I'm here. I owe you an apology. 
You two had a lot of history together, you know. You had to see how it would play out. You think we could start again? You know, I can scab a shirt. Oh, hi. Just get me on the next flight. I'm not getting any work done here. There's like zero flights. Zilch. But you're booked for tomorrow morning, so can you not just hold on for like one more night? I'd rather not. Well, you're just be coming back to a constant barrage of calls from Greg and his attorneys. I don't think so, considering he's here right now. What a coincidence. Mm. Hold on a sec. Mark, I have to call you back. Bye. Come in. You need to give me down another chance. Did he put you up to this? Yes. What kind of a man does something like that? The kind that likes you. Come sit down. I like him too, but it's complicated. Look, all he's asking for is a date. A date. Yeah? I got you on the last seat on a flight that leaves at five this evening. I'm staying until tomorrow. Thank you. I'm doing this for you. I'll take that. The hotel was fully booked. She just needed a place to sleep it off. Well, you're either a great liar or the most chivalrous guy in the world. It's not my breed, I <laughs> I'd say so. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. All right. You wish you could have that plate. <laughs> Be honest. Mmm, that is a great steak. Wow. Oi. We don't allow your kind in here. What on earth are you doing? We don't allow ties in here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Told you it was good. No, Greg's here. Eve, I need to talk to you. I'll talk to you when I'm back in LA. I need to talk now. No, the lady says she doesn't want to talk. Thanks, donkey boy. I got this one covered. Oh! Oh my gosh! Are you all right? Do I have your permission to back him now? Deck away. <laughs> Check, please. I couldn't find any raw meat in the freezer. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Uh. So, um, tonight, it didn't go exactly as I planned. Mm. What exactly was the plan? Fully full of Guinness, fully full of steak. Three people of them feeding in. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. I'm leaving in the morning. Mm. I should go. If you had the chance to stop by the river before your flight, I know Kathleen would like a proper goodbye. I'll put it on my list.
You did the right thing, ma'am. He's a big dope. Which one? Mr. Young, of course. Taxi should be here any minute. Right. Yet, huh? Like you were running away. Well, I came to say goodbye before I left. You're good for him. Maybe he's good for you, too. Now, I'll be back. Yeah, right. Miss you too. I have something for you. Came up with some new ideas for that logo. Maybe it'll help one of your artists. Thank you. Greg's attorneys called, and their offer is huge. Wouldn't you rather that I hurt Greg as much as possible? Well, besides my own personal reasons, you've got to get over him. Can I hold a little longer? Okay. Why aren't you coming back? She's not. So she dumped you? It's more complicated than that. You like her, right? Yeah. She likes you? Yeah, but... So what is the complication? The complicated part is finding someone. And once you do that, the rest is just bumps along the road. It's like the good book says. The course of love never did run smooth. No, I think that was Shakespeare. I just remembered something that the good book did actually say. There is nothing love cannot face. Love is a gift from above that's worth working at. If you lower. Okay, who wants lunch? I'm not in the mood. Oh, you're not so moping over that guy, are you? No. One. <laughs> you know what you need? You need to go on a date. I think that's the last thing I need to do. In fact, I'm putting myself on an official dating moratorium. Until further notice. Okay, well, what about a girls' night out, then? Works for me. Me, too. What time shall we pick you up? Oh, I wish I could. I've got Tanaka coming in on Tuesday. No, seriously, I have got so much work to do before that pitch. It's Friday, Eve. I know. Ah! Eve Parker. Oh, you did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. Yes! The airline finally found my missing shoe bag. Yay! Do me a favor. Do not spend Friday night in organizing your shoes. Please. If you miss her so much, why don't you do something about it? Who says I miss her? Ma would have wanted you to be happy. Do I hardly know the woman? You know you like her. But what am I supposed to do about it? Something that'll get her attention. Something that'll make her fly all the way back here. Like what? What are you asking me for? I'm 12. Hey, you got any juice boxes left? Uh, yeah, in the, in the cupboard by the thing.
So how's the moratorium going? I think I'm in love. Well, not very well then, evidently. I guess I could call him, but I don't have his number. I suppose I could get it from the hotel. Still a hopeless romantic then. Well, what am I supposed to do? Fly over there and tell him in person? Yes. yes. Hill, you're supposed to be the voice of reason. Reason goes out the window when you're in love. And Tanaka arrives tomorrow and he'll be here for the week. Throw caution to the wind, Dave. That's why we think that the strength and wisdom of the elephant encapsulates the Tanaka brand. We also have some other logos for you to look at, if you please. that represents strength for your brand. But I think that going with a tough animal like the tiger or the elephant is um, the wrong approach. I uh, have something here I'd like for you to see. In Japan, the duck represents faithfulness. And uh, it's strength you're after, then what's stronger than a faithful and enduring relationship? Okay. You see, I think that that is the type of strength that your company should portray. I mean, your first-time customers should be your lifelong customers. And, and it takes strength to create and maintain that bond. So I think that the duck perfectly represents the Tanaka ideology. Ah, I like the duck. This duck. The Tanaka duck. Ah, Tanaka duck. I need you to uh, take care of Tanaka for the rest of the week. Where are you going? Ireland. I was able to hold off Nasser and the Dubai guys for a few more days. How'd you do that? I told them we had a deal. We just needed to tie up a few loose ends. I told you, she's not gonna sell. There you are. Had the lawyers drafted up while you were away. We'll keep you on as president. If you don't like it, you got two days to get Eve to sell her share. In the meantime, your first act as figurehead is to get back on a plane to Ireland. What? Why? What for? I don't know. Some publicity nightmare with Castle Wild. I need someone there. I need some eyes there. I'm gonna do damage control. Great.
Miss Parker. We were hoping you'd return. Oh, thank you. Is uh, Sean around? <laughs> That's a good one. Wait, you don't know. Don't know what? Yeah. There was set a break ground on yesterday, thereby destroying this ancient burial ground. I spoke to him earlier. No, we we can't let them destroy our land. Not not only is it part of our history, our our national heritage. It's also the only home to several critically endangered species. Most Sean's a local celebrity now. The only place in Ireland where the Nassau Jack Toad lives. It's 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 environmental. You, just so as you know, this has nothing to do with the other night. Hi, I'm Greg Young, one of the owners of Castle Wild. Got to be somewhere to get this guy off my property. I'm sure there is, but we're backing our boy in this one. Hmm. That's great. Interrupt him. I'd be a monkey's uncle. Why are you here? Beef? What are you doing here? Yeah. I want Castle Wild. What? Give me Castle Wild, and you can have my stake in the company. That's one of our biggest assets. That's my offer. Eve, you don't have to do this. Why are you here? Him? For the Natterjack Toad. And I'm going to turn this place into some sort of a preserve. I, I can't give you Castle Wild. Half the reason the Dubai guys went in on the company is for this property. Then I'll have the forest and you build your golf course somewhere else. Yeah! I hope your toad is worth it. Deal. Okay, you have made a difference. Now let's get you out of here before you hurt yourself. Who's got the key? I have. Mm -hmm. Thanks, buddy. Got it. Well, just, just. Yeah, no, it's good. I'm good. I'm good. Fine. No. Eve, you didn't say. Why are you here? Because... Because... I love you. It's very okay. Oh, I know. The legal ramifications alone have my head spinning. What have we gotten ourselves into? I'm sure he could have just got Greg to move the course and taken a great wad of cash. Oh, until he got fired, which he will. And then we'd be back to square one. We? Well, I'm not going to run the Muir and Hughes Wildlife Preserve. I mean, my time's going to be filled promoting the place. What? You did say that you wanted to create a legacy for generations to come, right? I did. Thank you. I know that you're going to do great things with it. 
because you're a little something. I was going to post it to you, but seeing as you're here, it's just quite a small thing. Well, I'm sure whatever it is, I will... I can choose. You do realize that I bought a pair of these last week. Oh, yes, but these were actually designed for hiking. <laughs> Touché. Maybe you could wear them when you come and check on your investment. Investment? It looks pretty good. They're hatches! They're hatches! Come on! Oh! Oh! Oh, wait, wait! It's the office. Hello? <laughs> yes. Yes, I want to use that new artist, the one that we used for the Tanaka relaunch. Are you talking about me? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Thank you. You're going to use me for the Castle Wild campaign? I can't think of a better person. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> mm. Hey, aren't we supposed to be looking at something? <gasps> oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're coming, we're coming. dog from the animal shelter. He thought he lost his dog. You adopted my dog. We have a problem, don't we? He might just lose his heart. My daughter's fallen in love with him. We can't both have him. We could share him. Candace Cameron Bure, Victor Webster. Well, why don't we take it one step at a time and see where it leads us? A Hallmark Movies and Mysteries presentation. I want to figure out what I want to do when I grow up. It has to be with you. Puppy Love starts right now on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.